my name is Tobio. We're going to talk a little bit about order of operations in Python. So this is a bit of a continuation of the last video. Let's consider an operation 11 plus 3 times 7 divided by 9 to the power of 2. Now you might remember PEMDAS and this is just parentheses, exponentiation, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Now multiply, divide, those sort of exist on the same plane and add, subtract, exist on the same plane. So if I print this, let's see what this is. 11.259, etc. So if I want to delineate this clearly, the first thing that's going to happen is 9 is going to be squared. And let's consider the next thing that happen, happens, 3 times 7. Then the next thing, the result of that multiplication of 3 times 7, gets divided by 9 squared. And then finally, 11 gets added to the end. Of course, we're going to get the same answer. And that makes sense, right? So when you're building mathematical statements in Python, make sure you are considering the order of operations. It's a good rule of thumb, generally. If the order of operations is somewhat unclear, just put parentheses around them. Now, let's give sort of an example of this is straight out of the lessons in Learn. So looking at this, these are two different statements even though they have the same numbers. And if we run them, we can see two different results, right? So in this case, you may want to perform this addition before multiplication. Just as an example, if you get caught up, uh, if you don't notice this sort of mistake, it's not going to throw an error, right? So you're going to have a logical error. Your code isn't going to return what you think it should. So let's consider one more example. Generally, when we do math, there's an implication of multiplication when we put a number next to a parentheses, right? In this case, we're going to get an error. And notice this, type error, int object is not callable. So if we want to just break that down a little bit, this is sort of like how you would call a function, is, you know, some name, function, let me just say, do that, function name of some value. And Python's looking at this and it's trying to think, is this a function? Is 9 a function? You have to explicitly put in these multiplications. You can't let it be implicit just by having it next to a parenthesis. 